Hi guys, Matt here from Shep's Aquatics. So in today's video, we're going to be showing you guys how to start up a new culture of microworms from uh, already existing culture or a culture that you've brought from your local pet store or online or um, been given to by a friend or another hobbyist. They're really easy to set up. Um, so spin the camera around and we'll jump straight into the video. Okay guys, so all you're going to need to get your own culture is a starting, is first of all a starting culture. So this is mine in a, in a nice big tub. As you can see I have lots and lots of worms in here. Um, I generally do a, a big culture like this just so I can split it off whenever I want and I know I've always got worms. About every month I renew it, this one's coming up in a month now so it's time to basically cut out half of it and add more more feed to it basically but if you're going to buy it from a pet shop or another hobbyist you might get a little pot like this as you can see there's heaps of worms in it this is the one I feed out of at the moment or you, if you're going to get it from another hobbyist you might just get a bag with a bunch of worms in it and a bit of um, a bit of feed media so all I use to feed mine is a wheat pick and a little bit of dried yeast. So basically all you're going to do is mash up the, the wheat pick. I use a little bit of lukewarm water just to soften the wheat pick down. I use lukewarm water and not hot water because if the water's too hot when you add the worms, or when the, if the wheat pick's too hot when you add the worms, you can you can kill the kill the worms so just like that we just mash it up so it's a little bit softer don't have to go too overboard because the worms will break it down as they as they digest it so then it's just a matter of skipping it out putting it into your cup or container the more you put in, obviously the longer the, the culture will last before you have to renew it. So I'm using a full wheat pick because I'm using a taller container. So hopefully this will last me two or three weeks before it, before it runs out. So then all I do is just sort of mash it down a little bit. Don't have to go too too fancy, just so it's down a little bit. Then it is just a matter of taking your starter culture, taking a spoon of the off the top, which is where all your worms are, just sitting it in the in the top, I like just to spread it around a little bit, but you don't have to. They'll spread around themselves. And getting a little bit of dried yeast, just a sprinkle, and sprinkling over the top. And the yeast is basically their food. So they're gonna be eating the yeast. So we just put a bit of a sprinkle over the top and pop the lid on leave it for three or four days and you'll have a culture that started so these ones over here i actually only started literally 10 minutes ago as you can see the worms have already separated from the um from the culture down the bottom and i've already started climbing up the sides to a point where I could probably already harvest some out of it but I'm not going to I'm gonna let these guys grow out for another two or three days before I start harvesting out so yeah like I said I literally only just put them in 10 minutes ago on a video I did I tried doing 10 minutes ago and it all all stuffed up and went to went to crap <coughs> so there you guys have it a nice little microworm culture for
for your baby fish, your um, smaller smaller nano fish, um, like your dwarf rasboras, um, even guppies and endlers will eat them. Basically, any fish will eat them if they're a micro predator. So your CPDs, the um, sparkling grammies, all those sort of micro predator eat, um, feeders will, will eat this stuff. So, um, so well, there you go. As you can see, I, I got a little bit of um, culture here on the on the glass, and the worms are already starting to spread out and climb up. Um, don't ask me why they climb up, but they do. So, there you guys have it. I hope you like this little video on culturing the micro worms. I know there's about 110 videos that all tell you how to do the same thing, but hell, why not? I did it anyway. Um, so, hope you like the video. Make sure you just like and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next video. Thank you for watching.